There is a good reason for the seminary to be called after St. Charles Borromeo. He was, in his time, a great reformer of the clergy and the people uh, in their spiritual life and in their discipleship. And uh, in today's uh, office of reading, he has something that I think is really good. It, it is aimed towards priests, but I think it's very good for all of us. And he says, well, in my life I've heard many priests complain that they have difficulties uh, praying or during Mass they get distracted and all these different difficulties. And those difficulties are real. Yet he asks, uh, what did the priest do before he went to celebrate Mass? How did he prepare himself? What means did he use to dispose himself to be able to engage these activities? And basically the concept that he says is, yes, we will have many difficulties in our life, but God, who is a generous God, who is a provident God, gives us abundant ways to be able to overcome them. And in that sense, it is all these many choices that we do before these activities that will enrich in these activities that they might be fruitful for us. So we can think of other examples, you know, oh, my job is boring, I don't like it, or, or whatever difficulty is in your life. Uh, maybe what St. Charles would have told us is, okay, how are you preparing for these things? How are you bringing God into these difficulties? How are you using the means that God gives you to be able to make more fruitful your experience? And I think today's gospel has an important clue. Because sometimes we do not like the medicine for the disease. Let's say the disease is the difficulty that I have. And the medicine is, as Jesus teaches today, the cross. And sometimes that medicine is one that we don't want to take. And Jesus very, very practically says, well, what king wouldn't go and calculate before he goes into war if he needs 10,000 or 20 or 30,000 to win this. It is something that is like prudent. If I have a difficulty, my brain should say, okay, what way is there to be able to overcome that? That is prudence. That is just logic. And what Jesus is telling us, that mean is many times the cross. Dying to self. Maybe instead of, as St. Charles says in today's, you know, engaging in all these conversations, running from one place to another, and then going to celebrate Mass. You know, maybe instead of watching so much social media, instead of doing all these other things that distract us from what is important, maybe if we took the things that at that moment we don't like that much, which is an experience of the cross, then we would receive the graces and the fruit that we need to be able to engage these difficulties in a more fruitful way. So let us ask St. Charles Borromeo, and above all, our Lord Jesus Christ, to little by little educate our heart to embrace the, the cross, to embrace those things that we might be avoiding that will make our life much more fruitful. <laughs>